Hello everyone, I am Felicia Golden Grimes and I am back for day five of our challenge, how to save thousand dollars within 10 days. And so I wanted to talk to you today about how to save money with subscriptions. Now, I want you to think about this. How much money are you spending on internet and on um, like your entertainment? When I say entertainment, I mean like your television and the different movie channels you have, cable, satellite. Um, you may have apps. So let's, let's have a conversation of like those type of subscriptions because um, what we learned was it was like way cheaper if we utilize apps and to totally give away, give up our cable bill. But you have to be careful because you can actually have too many apps and you can run into the situation you had with the cable bill, that the cable bill is high. So you want to make sure that whatever you select in terms of turning the cable cord off and you connecting to an app, that it's much cheaper, that it's really cost effective. You want to think about what are you utilizing it for? What channels do you really, really need? I mean, I'm just being honest. My deal breaker was having own and I had to have own. Okay. And my husband's deal breaker is sports. So we come to a compromise on that. So I want you to think about uh, what other subscriptions are you paying for? Are you, are you paying for like a lot of other monthly subscriptions, like you know, subscriptions that you're not utilizing? You may want to like cut the cord on that. You might also think about what other extracurricular um, things that you're spending that has a subscription base that you may want to um, cancel out or you may decide at a later date um, that you would you know, continue with it, but maybe now is not a good time for you. So I want you to be thinking about what are other um, different expenditures that you have that's coming out of like auto payments that's coming out of your account month to month that you can really sit back and say, okay, have I really utilized that? Have I really used that? Um, do I have an excessive amount of payments coming out of like, um, now pay, um, now Amazon has like, um, different payment options where you can buy things over time, like QVC and HSN. You want to think about like how much that you're spending on those type of items. And do you really need those items? Was it something that's essential to your household? So you want to go back to think about your budget. The subscriptions that you have, are they essential? Now, my internet is essential because I I work and um, and so my job requires me to be online and I work in the office as well, but I still do things from home remotely too. And then I also have my online streams of income. And so I have to have internet. So in order for me to have the high power internet, I have to give up something else. So you want to think about what are you giving up um, in order to reduce, in order to get maybe that one thing that you just have to have. For me, internet is like, that's, I, I'd rather give up on before I give up the internet. So that's just how seriously I need to have the internet. So I want you to think about, um, are you even on your cell phone? Are you paying too much for that monthly subscription on that cell phone bill? Do you need to reduce your plan? Start thinking about what plans can you reduce even on some of the subscriptions you currently have and you currently use. Do you need to reduce even some people not using as much internet? Let me go back to that. Might not use as much internet. So their plan needs to change. So I want you to take an evaluation on your spending on all your subscriptions that you're currently actively utilizing the ones that you know that you're using lives on a regular basis. Why do you need them? Can you reduce them? And the ones you're not even like realizing you're paying for and you're not using them, it's time to cancel some of those out. Once again, I'm Felicia Golden Grimes and I am the money detective. I help you find money you can't find. And also I'm a financial educator. I'll be back with some more tips to help you save money with our 10 day challenge. Have a good one. I'll see you when I come back.